uh, <laughs> I kind of like the hardships in the way I embrace the hardships. I don't take my losses as something I embrace them because I learn from everything. You know? Yeah. And, and, and they allow me to see that I can um, I can bounce back. You know, uh, one of my favorite quotes is what uh, I got from Lil Boosie. Uh, <laughs> is uh, mind the setback for a major comeback. Yeah. Oh no. I don't get it. It's okay. You get it. <laughs> I was like, yes, Lord. Come on with the cancellations. <laughs> Oof, we going in it. Now I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I'm black. Uh, am I good? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's with the best of them. And he's oh, one of my favorite men. <laughs> <I've ever signed. laughs> that, that intro sounds like much more than who I actually am. <laughs> My guest of honor is always the best dressed person in the room. He was born and raised on the south side of Fort Worth, Texas, and he's the co-founder of Dub TC. He's the owner of All Ears and a Voice and Dub TC Fitness 33 and Wellness. Some of his other business ventures include Worldwide Travel Connection Agency and Spacehead Productions. His mission is to share his blueprint with men to teach them how to gain knowledge of self and understanding. One of his favorite quotes is, no man should escape our universities without knowing how little he knows. Today, my guest of honor is my cousin, Brandon Williams, also known as Lil B. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. How you doing, Kano? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. See, I had, to, I had to introduce you the right way. <laughs> how, has, how has quarantine been going for you? Uh, actually, quarantine has been a blessing to me. I'm able to uh, be to myself and uh, be more creative, bring out, bring out my creative ways, my creative ways, creative things that I didn't know that I, uh, that I possessed inside me. So uh, I was able to bring those things out and uh, mm-hmm. get a, a new and better understanding of myself and what I'm capable of doing uh, as far as uh, if I was to be quarantined, uh, continue to be quarantined, if I was to uh, find a different hobby, different interest. Uh, in life, so yeah, uh, quarantine has been a blessing. I know some people say it's uh, been a tragedy, it's been you know bad for them, but for me, uh, it's been a blessing. Uh, it's been a much appreciated, shall we say? I know it might sound bad, but <laughs> you needed a break. Me, we uh, all needed a break, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been much appreciated to me. Uh, can't complain. What would you say is like the the biggest thing you took from twenty twenty though? I would say this uh this whole pandemic, not all, you know, you know, whatever with pandemics, uh this corona thing that happened. Uh, they call it a pandemic. and most of the time uh pandemics are are bad. People consider them bad or negative. Uh, but it's for me it's been a it's been a positive for this whole pandemic thing. So I would take that uh now not all pandemics or not all things that happen that are bad, you know, you have to take it in a negative way. And, and good comes out of it. So I, I would say I would take that out of year That's true. Like to be honest, that's very true because sometimes the the hardships are what like mold us. So yeah, I yeah. mean <clears throat> 2020 uh, definitely took us through. <laughs> <laughs> them, 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 hard, them hardships, uh, it allow you to find out where you really are, you know, uh, yep. what you, uh, what you're really capable of doing, uh, if you really can, uh, lose and, and, and really bounce back, you know, so those, those hardships are, I, I, uh, <laughs> I kind of like the hardships in the way I embrace the hardships. I don't take my losses as something negative. I embrace them because I learn from everything. Yeah, and, and they allow me to see that I can, uh, I can bounce back. You know, uh, one of my favorite quotes is what I got from Lil Boosie. Uh, <laughs> is uh, mind the setback for a major comeback. Yeah, uh, so that's one. Uh, like I can say that is one of my favorite. Yeah, so, Prophet uh, Boosie. Prophet yeah. Boosie. <laughs> All right, <laughs> shout out to Lil Boosie. <laughs> yeah, Webby, Webby got some good ones too. Yeah, Wavy got some good with Shout out to, you know what I'm saying? Wavy the whole trio fam. Yeah. Talk to me, y'all. Seriously, though. They got some yeah. good ones. We we grew up on that. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. I'm still, I'm still listening to y'all. Still to this day. Still to yep. this day. Still to this day. 
Sure, I'm saying, oh, you know, a whole boosty bad ass thing, you know. <laughs> I was listening yeah. to I was listening to Webby. What is it the other day? I was like, this is my still my song. <laughs> yeah, what is? Oh yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> still my song. So funny. Um, well, tell the people a little bit about your background, like you know where you grew up and everything. Um, because clearly I know, but they don't know. So go ahead and tell them a little bit about your background. So I was uh born in uh Fulmer, Texas. Uh, John Peter Smith, uh, March 19, 1986. Shout out to the 80s babies. You know, uh, we the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mainly grew up on the south side of Fort Worth, but uh, stayed a little bit uh, in South Six. Uh, <clears throat> people don't know those. It's kind of like a uh, south side. It's like mostly uh, a crib neighborhood, South Six, small blood neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but uh. Went to different uh, middle, middle schools as far as the south side, uh, then a little bit on the east side. But I uh, graduated, finally went to, uh, when I got to high school, we went to Trouble Tech. I uh, graduated in 2004, shout out to those 2004 blue dogs. Uh, graduated from Tech in 2004, and I went to a little community college, uh, a little community college. Kind of navigating through life, kind of the, 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 the best way that I knew how. and. Uh, also learning from my mistakes and other people's mistakes. I was able to get a chance to get out of Texas. I forgot what year this was, but I'm also to, to move to Wyoming. Uh, so I'm up in Wyoming right now. I'm currently in Wyoming, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, I never heard, I, I didn't realize Wyoming was a state when I was, right. <laughs> I was coming here. But a shout out to Wyoming. Uh, <clears throat> So I got a chance to uh, come up here, get out of Texas, do something different, you know, uh, get out of my comfort zone. And, uh, it was like it was one of the best decisions I could have uh, made, you know, so, so far in my life. You know, um, the climate is different, weather is different. Uh, we had a higher altitude up here, and we get uh, snow all year round. Uh, so I'll, all my Texas folks, I know we ain't used to that snow, but uh, <laughs> we get it all year round up here. Wow. <laughs> But I ended up coming up here because I got accepted into uh, University of Wyoming. Uh, so I was going to uh, University of Wyoming. I went there for a year uh, studying uh, English literature. Uh, I haven't finished, but I am going to go back and finish and get my like, English literature degree. Uh, but uh, so I, but I've been up here in Cheyenne, Wyoming uh, for some years now. Uh, I kind of got used to the weather, the culture, and I uh, really been focused on myself, trying to uh, find my way. I got into uh, fitness. Uh, working at the gym, uh, I'm a personal trainer. Now. I have a WTC Fitness 33 Fitness and Wellness that I'm working on building as far as a business. So I have all ears and a voice that I'm working on to build as far as a business. And uh, what that is is what I've noticed about, what I've understood and noticed about myself, and this is part of my self-growth and knowing myself, I was able to understand that uh, People are attra I, I attract people, or people are attracted to me, and they come to me for advice. I mean, all types of people, married people, single people, it, does, it don't matter. They come to me for advice, and, these, and, and a lot of these people I don't know, you know, uh, the first time I'm meeting them, first time I'm seeing them, and they come to me for advice. For some reason, I, I, I have this gift of attracting people, and uh, I have a gift of listening. I'm a good listener. I like to say, I like to say to myself that I've, I've gained enough wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to give uh, my opinion, my advice to whatever uh, questions or problems they may be having. Now, I'm not, a, I didn't go to school for counseling or anything like that. Uh, this actually just comes natural to me. Uh, and I, I don't, <clears throat> the, the people can vouch for me. I'm not sitting here just bragging on myself. The people can vouch for me. So now I'm, uh, Transitioning and turning this into a business, it's basically yeah. how all there is and what it is. But you uh, have tried and true. You have tried tried and true experience though, because you have life experience. Yeah, I do. I uh, do. I do. I have, have a lot of life experience. Yes, that's I do. That's education yeah. in itself. <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. Well, I, I, I have I have life education, not you, not university education. Can I say? <laughs> it's better, which is better because it's real. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's basically what the all is and the voice is. I'm listening. I can listen to you. you don't have to give no advice. Or I can listen to you and give you advice. Uh, it's up to you. Basically, it'll be up to you. 
I'm a writer. I like to write. I love to write. Uh, write poetry. Uh, I'm working on writing a movie, uh, music. Um, that's why I kind of got into English literature. We do a lot, do a lot of writing in English literature. So it kind of focused me towards uh, writing. Um, I'm big on uh, philosophy uh, and psychology. Uh, big on uh, human nature, uh, human development. I'm big on uh, man, woman interaction. Uh, or as uh, being single, dating. Uh, not being on marriage, never been married. So, but uh, <laughs> but I have I have given a uh, marriage people uh, advice, uh, marriage couples advice, should I say? But uh, anything else, you know, pretty much um, I'm doing it myself. Except, except the marriage thing, I haven't I haven't reached that point. But uh, look, yeah, you I, just you yeah. haven't done it yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We go. Uh, I mean, we go. We go. You know, we go. In, in due time, we'll see. <laughs> but right now, uh, right now, um, I'm just kind of. I'm just working on me, focusing on me, uh, building uh, this LTC empire that, that uh, me and my brother, my cousin, we've been uh, at it for a long, 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 long time. Uh, I know since high school. So anybody, anybody who knows us, know that you know the LTC been around for a long time, and it's uh, you know so now. Uh, the mission is to bring it to the forefront, bring it, you know, uh, sharing with the world, all, right, all over the world. So we want to uh, working on building the empire, fitness, music, comedy, uh, clothing line, counseling, where we doing, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying, whoever, whatever gifts, whatever talents that you want to, that you have, that you want to bring and share with the world, we want to, you know, if it's, we want to bring it out there to the world with the WCC brand. So that's what, uh, that's what we're working on right now. Yeah, I'm excited because I know I know how long y'all have been working on it, but I feel like a lot of time has helped y'all develop your skills even more. So I'm excited to yeah. see like how it unfolds and how y'all release it to the world because, I mean, it's just going to be different. So it is. I'm excited that's about what, it. That's what, that's what we, we want different, you know, uh, people like different. You know, uh, we want to bring it in a comedy way. People like to laugh, so we bring it in a comedy way. I am not white, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, WC comedy. <clears throat> we want to bring it in a music way, uh, in a movie way, TV show way. You know, everybody, you know, like like what they like. So we want to really accommodate the world. We want to bring it in a coat and the clothes fashion way. So uh, we want to uh, give the people what they what they want, what they need. Uh, and uh, some of what they desire. So we want to just really just share it with the world. Leave, leave, leave uh, <clears throat> that, uh, that print behind. Uh, That's the big mission for me. Uh, I'm 30, I'm going on 35, and I, I mean, I don't have no kids right now, which I'm not rushing. Uh, I'm not rushing it at all. But uh, someday I, I would like to, you know, have, you know, leave a little legacy behind. But if not, uh, for sure, this WTC brand is going to be, you know, part of you know, my legacy. Yeah. But, uh, but we tell you, it's taking it one day at a time, though. That's all you can do. It's taking one yeah. one day at a time to make sure that you're executing whatever God tells you to execute. You're right it, about that. Definitely right. That, that's all you can do. <laughs> that's right. Definitely tell, right. Tell me, tell me a little bit about what someone has to have to be in your circle. Cause honestly, I feel like we all have non-negotiables when it comes to mm-hmm. the people we keep around us. So what are like your, your five non-negotiables when it comes to people being in your circle? First of all, I mean, my circle is it's small, you know, uh, I, w- I wanna say it's, uh, as far as my immediate circle is, it's, clo- it's closed out for the most part. Uh, but, uh, but as far as just, just being around me, uh, respect is one. Being assertive is one. I mean, so far as characteristic wise, uh, the top one is, is respect. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would, I want to say, uh, you know, like you know, be a, a follower of God. I mean, everybody, you know, they have their own, you know, beliefs. Yeah. But uh, at least you know, uh, 
believe in something, you know. Even, yeah. You know, it's not not what I believe in. Believe in something. Have a plan, a vision. Have your own plan and vision, shall I say? Because if you don't, then I mean, you're following somebody else's plan, somebody else's vision. You know, uh, you and that you and that person, y'all might, you know, you might, you know, the people you y'all might hang around each other and, and some likeness have like this like plan, but for the most part, uh, have your own, you know, man, your own vision. Be open minded. You know? uh, That's a big one. A lot of people, I, I come across, you know, people who, who are closed minded. Uh, I can't get mad at them because that's how some people are. But that I believe that's how you, you, you stop your growth in some shape, form, or fashion, being closed-minded because you're not you're really not open to other things, other possibilities. Uh, so being open-minded is, is a big one. But, but I do come across people who are closed-minded, and I, and I ain't mad at them. I just understand that they're closed-minded. Just being your own man, you know, uh, just taking responsibility for your own actions, just standing on your word. What you say? Uh, that's a big one for me. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, to have uh, morals, principles, uh, to have you know laws that you you live by that you wouldn't break. That's that's a big part of uh, understanding yourself. Having morals, principles, laws that you that you live by that you wouldn't break. Uh, Having structure. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, uh, I would say that was a big five things. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 <clears throat> I live by all five of those, and you are, you know, uh, birds of a feather flock together. So if I'm with you, then I know you live by, you know, at least, uh, you're at least three or more of those, you know, uh, not all five, you know, each of all five, but. Yeah, birds and feather fly together. So they sure do. <laughs> <laughs> they sure do. Grandma said it all the time. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's, true. it's true. Grandma says that all the time. It's definitely important that you pay attention to who you're around because yeah. that whatever they're doing, their actions are going to rub off on you. It definitely happens. So um, I think those are some top five, some good top five um, non-negotiables, especially the morals part. Yeah, yeah, especially Morris Park. Um, what would you say is your your why overall? Like, why you want to do everything? Like, what is your ultimate why or your purpose that you know of right now? Overall, probably after it's all said and done, I want to uh, been able to help uh, people all over the world to uh, just get a better understanding of themselves. And I, I think I think that's the 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 biggest part of life. Uh, is getting an understanding of yourself. A lot of a lot of people believe that life is just about working, making money, uh, you know, having fun, whatever, and creating families. But uh, if you don't understand yourself, then life is going to be a little more harder for you. Mm -hmm. uh, understanding yourself makes it a little more easier for you, I believe, uh, in my own experience. So uh, life. People always ask me, like, you know, you're always smiling, like, you're never mad, you know, uh, like, I literally, I don't have no stress at all in my life. I don't have um, no worries. My biggest thing every day for myself is to learn something new, something different about myself, just become a better person for myself. Yeah. And when I do that, uh, life, life gets more easier. It gets uh, less stress, less worry for me. Cause I'm understanding myself and what uh what I'm capable of doing and what I'm not capable of doing, uh, and I'm also understanding uh my gifts, my talents, my purpose of, of being here on earth. So uh, uh I think I believe that uh that's one of the five questions that a lot of people like to ask themselves: Why am I here? Who am I? Uh, what am I capable of? Where I, where did I come from? Uh, everybody at one point in time asks themselves these questions in their lifetime, trying to figure out why they're here. They purpose, uh, what is a gift, what is a talent. Uh, so that's uh, my biggest focus uh, at the moment. Mm -hmm. right? So at the end of the day, I want to be able to wake people up to self knowledge. 
and I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm saying all over the world. Yeah. I'm not just here in America. Yeah. All over the world. And I want to be able to affect the, the next generation with what I leave behind, what I build. Yeah, that, that's my overall, I would say. It makes perfect sense. And, and the fact that you're chasing self-mastery, everything is always going to fall into place because yeah. Yeah. like a lot of people focus on everything else that's going on outside of them, but you don't mask your own talents and gifts and mindset yeah. so you always fumble the the gifts are you always like miss out on opportunities because you can't recognize them a lot of people is distracted you know uh the world the worldly things you know uh i ain't knocking on none of the you know it's the reality shows uh the yeah. tv shows all them, uh, even even the social media you know uh a lot of people distracted you know and, uh and when some come come across their way, they kind of you know uh, just let it go because they don't know you know they don't know because they distracted. Yep. So, uh, they're not prepared for it either. Yeah, they're not they're not preparing for it. Uh, so that's uh one of the big things uh kind of taking away the distraction uh help help me uh in a lot of ways you know, just being to myself uh turning the TV off doing you know, a lot more reading shall I say yeah. but uh the social media thing. Not big on that, but I'm I'm getting getting into it a little bit. Uh, so uh, I just downloaded Instagram. I just got this set up, so I'm still trying to still trying to figure out how that works. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, a lot a lot of a lot of people are, are distracted of the worldly things. Uh, you know, I have some people that's woke, some people that's gonna be asleep. You know, so you can't can't wake everybody up. You know, and I and I understand that. Uh, so the ones I can. I mean, I'm, I'm able to, you know what I'm saying, shake a little bit, maybe, you know what I'm saying, wake them up halfway or fully wake them up, you know, I, I'm with it. So, but I know I can't wake everybody up, but, you know, it's, no. it's just what it is. It's okay. You're going to wake up the ones God called you to wake up. So yeah, as long as yeah, you, as long as you're doing your thing, doing what you're supposed to do, like, honestly, you're not for everybody and everybody's not for yeah. you. I, yeah, had to I, learn that. I understand that. Yeah, I understand that, and I accept that too. Mm -hmm. so. I had to learn yeah, that. that. <laughs> That's a lesson for everybody. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. You, you can't it change is. yourself or shift yourself for anybody because at the end of the day, it's like you're gonna continuously morph every time. Yeah. So yeah. nobody yeah, got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, tell me a little bit about Dumb TC Fitness. And wellness. Tell tell me about all of that. Like how you're developing it. Um, your love for working out and and being well completely. Tell me about that that business. It started. Uh, I started working in the gym, uh, and then I became a my my mission was to become a personal trainer. So I started behind the desk, and then I got the opportunity to become a trainer in the gym. So and uh been doing it. Well, going on three years now, <clears throat> and uh, actually, I've grown a big passion for it. As far as working out, uh, eating, uh, eating more healthier. Just I, I believe that uh, fitness and health is uh, a big, big, big part of uh, your life because this this is your body you're talking about. Everybody only has one body. You got to take care of that body. Uh, no matter you know what what they talk about, you gotta take care of everybody because you only have one body. But they say you only got one life, you only have one body. So if you don't take care of that body, then in a way you're gonna be shortening your your time span uh, as far as being down on earth. But uh, fitness and health, uh, I believe, is a big big part of uh, just life in general. And uh, so I've grown a passion for uh, training, fitness, uh, even even more healthier. I'm now turning that into a business. Uh, that's uh, WTC Fitness 33 and uh, Wellness. Uh, I work with people uh, I work from Texas to California. I'm just taking uh, my passion for fitness and training uh, and turning it into a business. Uh, so that's basically what it is. And uh, so I, I believe uh, I want to direct towards what I want to put out there towards the men, but also towards, I mean, be towards the women too, but I believe if the men change then the women will change too, their women, they'll, they'll follow suit too, for the most part, you know. Uh, 
Yep. That's that's my main focus. Uh, as far as just helping me and gain knowledge itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, that's the same journey I'm on. Uh, yeah. And I'm gaining, uh, my mission is to gain, learn something new about myself every day. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the education part, it don't stop until, you know what I'm saying, I, I believe until the day that you get out. You know, so you can learn something new about yourself every day. So That's true. I believe, you know, it don't stop until, you know, you're in the time. So, uh, right. and that's kind of what, uh, what what I want. I want to give my blueprint of how I'm gaining uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of myself. That way I can become a better version of myself. That way I can identify my reason, my purpose of being here. Mm-hmm. Uh, on my, my time on this earth, yeah. and uh, and it helps me uh identify my talents, my gifts within myself, and that way I can uh, I can better uh I can better cultivate them, better understand them, and uh share them with the world, you know. Yeah. I, so that's I kind of. Uh, oh no! Go ahead. What was you about to say? I was I was just trying to wrap to wrap it up. That's kind of like my main my main focus, my main mission. That's kind of why I chose that. I would say I chose that quote. Yes. Well, end us off with one of your other favorite quotes. All right, so I got this one. Uh, I got this down. Uh, Fifty cent. Uh, do, do what you gotta try. <laughs> he was talking to Terrence Howard. He was like, "When I'm right, I'm right. But when I'm wrong." Right, I could be wrong, but I know I'm right. Should be right. <laughs> no, that's real though, because <laughs> you said people might not catch it, but that makes perfect sense to me. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's if he's sure of himself and he knows he's right, he's right, even though he might be wrong, he still believes he's right. Yeah, for sure. True. Yeah, that's 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 what that, that's one of my favorite quotes. I've been I've been quoting them for a little while now. <laughs> yeah, that one can tie some people up. <laughs> They're like, what? Look, if you listen to it, you say you what do you say? I'm not talking fast. You just listen to slow. You just listen to slow. Yeah. <laughs> well, cousin, I'm super excited for you, and I'm very proud of you. I can't wait till you like really show the world like everything that God has placed in you because, I mean, it's going to come out. Like, regardless if you want to do it or not, he's going to force you to do it. So <laughs> I do, I see it. So I'm excited for you. And I know that you're going to change a lot of lives, like worldwide. Like you said, it's not just small. It's like massive. So that's the plan. That's the plan. And I was going to also say that, you know, God says go forward and be uh, fruitful and multiply. And that doesn't always have to mean through your own, child that that means that you know you spread and seed amongst a lot of people that's how i look at it too because you know we the last of the mohicans we don't have no keys yet so um i just think that it's important to remember that like as you do all of your work all the things that you're doing you're spreading your seed and you're being fruitful like in every aspect of your life so just keep doing what you're doing and like helping people find themselves (laughs) i appreciate you uh just giving me a opportunity and a uh, platform to, you know, kind of introduce myself and put myself out there. Uh, this is my first time, first interview. Uh, but I always, uh, I always picture myself uh, giving, giving these interviews. Uh, so I guess this might be the first one uh, of many. <laughs>